Welcome to Star Seeds and Star Breeds on YouTube and Facebook. Okay, this is Jennifer with Star Season Star Breeds, and this is my first reading for 
uh, Sun Sagittarius, uh, and the full moon in Gemini. Um, I'm going to give you an invocation. This is a life purpose reading, so it's an intuitive reading. And I'm going to give you an invocation for my light worker oracle to start out. This is the first uh, tarot cards. I didn't know what tarot cards were at all. So <laughs> I got this oracle um, card set and because I was told I was a light worker. And so I'm going to read 1 through 44 for my first 44 readings. And I'm going to go by that. And then I'm going to do a roll of the dice. A roll of the dice. And... And then we'll get started on the life purpose. It's going to be a shocker reading for both mine, masculine and feminines. So, to know our life purpose. Because we have to know our life purpose before we go into union. And we have to get started on that first. So this is, this that I'm going to read is the first ray of power. And this is my invocation to you all on how to start out. It's a really cool card. Just happens to have a woman on it. So, feminines do go first anyway, so let's see what it has to say. The first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. The first ray, ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any task you choose. The Ascended Master, El Moria, brings you his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and to take the initiative on what matters to you most. My invocation. I now accept of my own free will the blessing and gr grace of the first ray of power. I'll show the card. I now accept my own free will, the blessing and grace of the first ray of power in my life. Through unconditional love and divine mercy, I surrender my life into the hands of the universe to align me with the, with higher will and the most beautiful expression of my life journey. I call upon the loving assistance of the genuine Ascended Master, El Moria, in all aspects of this process and ask the, that the first ray of power be expressed in ways that serve the greatest good on this planet, that all beings may walk their true divine path through, through divine grace, so be it. Okie dokie. Okay. And we will roll the dice. I roll the dice a little bit different. We'll see uh, what's in store for, or what's the energy for today for this full moon in Gemini. We have four, fourth house, which is about home stability. Fourth house, Cancer, which is the north node of the moon right now for our life purpose. So you might be a fourth house, uh, Cancer north node. Just look at the chart that at, that's at the beginning of the video and see uh, what this means for you. Or you might have your moon in Cancer which will be coming up in, yeah, the next, the next moon will be in Cancer after Gemini. Then we have Saturn. And that is in Capricorn right now. Saturn's also, yeah, in Capricorn, there's Pluto's in Saturn. Saturn's in Pluto. Oh, Pluto <laughs> is next to Saturn. Um, there might be some kind of conjunction there too as well. They're both in Capricorn, which is the south node of the moon. And then we have the house of Cancer. <laughs> so uh, maybe something's coming up for um, for moon and Cancer uh, for north, north or south nodes which are also my nodes in the moon, which have to do with our life purpose. Then we have, these are diamonds. So, a 10 of pentacles, which is a good sign. That's our money and abundance. 
hopefully it'll work or maybe in our fourth house of home and stability or in Capricorn, which is our work and career, which happen to be my north nodes of the moon, north and south nodes of the moon as well. So lots of, uh, let's see, eclipse energy going on there and where the no nodes are of the moon. So a lot of moon energy today, which is surprising. So a good sign. I'm just going to um, pick one card from the Divine Dog Wisdom cards for the general energy for both Divine Masculine and Feminine. See where we're at. Just pick one card from each and then we'll do the chakras. Whoa. For Divine Feminine, Expression, Speak Your Truth. So, I'm a divine feminine, I'm speaking my truth, I'm expressing myself today for the first time, live, well, not live, but <laughs> on tape, for, for the collective, so, that's a good sign, it's a good card to get for divine feminines, oh man, and two for divine masculine, empathy, I see and hear you. So, Divine Masculine may be empathetic today, or be, may be wanting to be empathetic today. I see and hear you. And Endurance, keep your eye on the ball. So, maybe Divine Masculine needs to keep his eye on the ball and keep, keep at it, keep working hard. Things are probably going to work out for you. So those are good messages today. And okay. So for Divine Feminine, I'm gonna use the um, these cards that are the Goddess Wisdom cards or Goddess Tarot cards. Divine Feminine Root. Root chakra. Oh, I forgot to light my candle. I have a full moon candle. Or a full moon, I'm sorry, incense. So tonight, uh, with the full moon, we're going to release for the next two weeks. The last two weeks were about embracing. So this is for immutable signs which are the last signs of the season for Divine Feminine. Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. I should say Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces. It's the root and the sacral. Now the solar plexus. And the heart. <laughs> and the throat chakra. The pineal gland and the, and the crown. Third eye and a crown. <laughs> crown. And for the upper two chakras, which are above the head, movement, Rihanna, ooh, the moon, queen of pentacles. So for the Divine Feminine, I don't see any real blocks, this all looks pretty good, except for maybe down here. For the Root Chakra, we have Nine of Pentacles, Sacral, Queen of Swords, uh, it might not be a blockage, but 
something severe. <laughs> cutting, cutting, cutting out. Um, the solar plexus, we have love, Venus. Two of cups, the heart chakra. Doing the love. Prince of Wands in the Throat Chakra. Queen of Cups in the Third Eye. And Fortune in the Crown. Lakshmi. Well, I don't see it as any blockages. Um, it all looks pretty good. Um, she looks like Divine Feminine, your root chakra, you're on your way, on your journey, um, towards abundance, it looks like. You are looking good there. I don't see any blocks for the root chakra, except that you're kind of taking things, doing things yourself, not really concentrating on anyone else's which is where we should be at to come into union well uh, however um in your sacral you are cutting cutting out things that no longer serve you um you may be a libra since this is the queen um you may have your nodes of the moon in sag or gemini or Virgo or Pisces, but you may be a taking on this Libra energy or air energy, cutting out things that no longer serve you according to maybe uh, motherhood, things like that. Maybe you're going to be single or you are single or you're cutting out people that yeah, you don't see dating maybe as a priority <laughs> in your sacral chakra. And that's okay too. In your um, solar plexus, you're feeling love. So this might be from the planets. This could be coming from Venus. You may feel in that love energy. Uh, I believe Venus is going into Pisces? Well, Venus is in Capricorn. Yeah, so it might be going into Aquarius soon. But this is in your solar plexus, so you're feeling the heat, maybe, <laughs> of love. Six is also serving others, so you might be wanting to serve others with love and light. You might be going out into the sunshine, helping others, helping people, which is also good. In your heart chakra, though, you have two of cups, so that's maybe why you're feeling the love. In your heart chakra, it looks like all your chakras are working, actually. Two of cups, you might be in love. If you are a Sag, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo. Um, with this moon that can be a sun or a moon so i'm i kind of see it as the moon moonlight with a lot of blue around so you might be uh in love with the blue with the full moon <laughs> and embracing and releasing uh releasing things um that may have kept you not in love embracing your femininity, embracing the flow, the ebb and flow of love. So that looks good too. In uh, Divine Feminine, in your throat chakra, you are the Prince of Wands. So you might be taking action um, towards someone, or someone may be taking action towards you, but I look at this as your energy, no matter if it's a prince or a princess, maybe you're in your masculine energy right now, making moves 
talking your talk, talking the talk, walking the walk. Yeah, I see this as very masculine energy. So you're in your masculine energy. Talking the talk, walking the walk. <clears throat> Which is also a good sign. Which is what we're supposed to do right now anyway. Is take on and balance our feminine and masculine energy. So that we can move up in the world. So that we can accomplish our life purpose. And balance out these these two energies and with my nodes of the moon being in Capricorn which is masculine work energy I have to take on that masculine role so and that makes sense also for anybody that has Capricorn north node of the moon for your uh, third eye divine feminines are queen of cups so that's also a motherly energy in your third eye. You're seeing yourself, and this could also be sun or moon, but I look at the, the Queen of Cups is, a, is cancer energy, um, which is the moon. <laughs> and it's full moon tonight, so we might be praying to be more loving, be more caring, seeing ourselves as a mother someday seeing ourselves as taking on a motherly role for others in our lives, a caring, compassionate, uh, Mother Mary kind of role with this, this full moon, which is excellent. And with our crown chakra, fortune. So we're moving through our chakras. Kundalini is rising to get us our fortune whatever that means to you, whatever kind of abundance that is to you. Lakshmi is like one of the um, divine feminines in Hindu history that, or Hindu uh, avatars that rise up. Um, and so that's a pretty high, high um, honor. You're getting into your moksha. You're rising up in your mind. Probably your soul is wanting to fly at this point in your crown chakra. Because then we have the queen of pentacles <laughs> for the two chakras above, which are like the pink, like this is the purple, then there's the pink, and then there's the white. So you're making movement. You're moving on up to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky and you got the queen of pentacles so obviously you're rising up getting it done you're making moves to get your pentacles and then <laughs> underneath all that is the moon so a lot of moon energy here um, moving right along with the moon gonna make things happen so that's really good for divine feminine she is making big strides tonight with this new moon. Okay, let's do Divine Masculine and his chakras. Where he's at. Same thing. Root. Blue crown. crown. Roots. Let's see. Sacral chakra. Huh. Solar plexus. The heart chakra. Throat 
third eye, king of them, and the crown. At the bottom of the deck, ace of wands, six of swords, and ace of pentacles. Okay. So for your roots, you got six of wands. Divine masculine. Um, you may be on the go. You might be rising up, feeling triumphant, making moves. This doesn't look like a blockage at all. Same with divine feminine. Starting out strong, feeling really good about yourself. Maybe serving others in your family serving yourself and others with love and light and making moves towards being victorious. So that's not a blockage. Nine of Cups for the sacral. You might also be in your feminine energy, but making moves on your own. Um, this seems really balanced, like you're finding love for yourself um, and you're on a journey of being more in your feminine f feminine feels maybe or thinking about your feminine in your feels not really thinking but you know um, your energies kind of feminine down there <laughs> taking this journey alone and in your solar plexus again more feminine energy um, uh, sun is very bright so you might looking be looking towards the feminine or or feeling your feminine energy Towards your pentacles, towards your abundance. Again, you might just be in your feels again, being confident, taking on this feminine energy of being confident and flowering, blooming, blooming in with your abundance, which is also good, which is also what we need to be doing as masculine and feminines anyway. Okay, this I see as a blockage. On your heart chakra, it's seven of wands. So this might be a blockage. Trying to um, face others, other partnerships um, with your heart, facing other people, facing people that want to bring you down maybe, making action, movement towards that to unblock, unblock your heart, um, defending your heart maybe. So if this is in your heart chakra, it's other people messing with your heart, maybe. So that might be a blockage for you. But then we have eight of wands in your throat chakra. So you definitely are taking on this movement, unblocking, maybe talking to others, making swift moves to unblock those that are trying to hold your heart back or affecting your heart choices. Yeah, maybe speaking up, speaking fast, speaking loud and positively because this is a good card. This is the sun shining. You know, it looks like you have people behind you. These might be angels, three, three deer, one not really paying attention, but you know, mind, body, soul, it could be, it could be angels, it could be sun, moon, spirit, people backing you up. So, yeah, it looks like maybe you're getting over this blockage and trying to move forward. And then in your third eye, eight of pentacles, you're concentrating on work, really seeing uh, what needs to be done, what kind of what has to be done for your life purpose to make changes 
uh, transform your abundance. Um, you might be given lots of advice from in your dreams, from others, from angels maybe, from animals, assistance to transform your pentacles and to transform your abundance into something good, knowing your life purpose. So using your intuition to know your life purpose and, and working on it in your mind's eye. Just good. That's not a, a block at all. And there are birds here also. So also you might be getting messages from animals. Um, look out for, or hearing maybe angels, maybe hearing stuff in your ear while you work. And then in your crown chakra, it's 10 of pentacles. So you are abundant in your mind and you're, you are concentrating, you're hearing, you're concentrating on abundance. You're seeing your abundance grow. You're at your happiness, feeling your happiness. You feel like you know what you want. You may have a dog, you may have a horse, you, you know what you want, you know what you want your family to look like, so that's really good. That's not a blockage at all. And then your upper chakras above your head, you know, the ace of wands, so that's, this is your higher self telling you that you have the power, you're taking your power back, and that you can move on knowing that you have the power, and you can work with others you can in your mind take this power back and serve yourself and others and below that is ace of pentacles so seeing your self-worth knowing your self-worth your higher self is letting you know that you're worth it which is also really good so i really don't see anything bad about these except for Maybe this blockage right here. So let's uh, get a card for that. Or an explana explanation for that. From the animals. And see what they say. For Divine Masculine. Seven Wands, Eight of Wands. Whoa. Seven Wands, Eight of Wands. Ooh, the Emperor it says structure and organization are important right now don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much much wisdom to offer so that's great advice because that's who you are and nine is summer now's the time when your dreams come true don't worry about how this will happen just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that's still yet to come. More great. Great, great. Okay, and let's see for Divine Feminine. I just want to know about this Two of Cups and Love and Venus in your heart chakra. What are we doing? What's advice for that? Especially for single mutable signs this full moon. Seven is summer. It's time to stop pr procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with a priority. If you need to do more research, then do so. Don't overthink the situation. Listen to your heart. So your heart is saying two of cups. So <laughs> don't procrastinate. If there's somebody that is in your heart, you might want to go tell them. Oh, that's too many. Okay. Okay. I'll do one more. Since this kind of turned into... Uh, it's like love for Divine Feminine. But Divine Masculine is more. It just feels... 
working on himself. I do white card of these Journey of Love cards. I really like them. They have a poem also that goes with them. From Alana Fairchild and Richard Cohn Razuli. So we'll get one card each for Divine Femme and Masculine. Remember, this is a life purpose reading. It wasn't supposed to be a lot about love. But it doesn't look like... Well, I guess love could be a blockage but <laughs> on your life purpose. But we have to be totally in our life purpose before. But if you are already... Oh, that, that makes sense too. If you're already in love and you already found your Divine Masculine... I need to know about your love, life purpose. This might not be the reading for you. So I'm going to do two more readings. Um... For, for the cardinal signs, which will be tomorrow, and then for the fixed signs, which will be on the 14th, when the sun, or the moon will be in Cancer tomorrow, and then in Leo on Saturday. So Divine Masculine, Journey of Love. Communal dance, which is a five. And Divine Feminine, you got Eruption of Light, which is 11. Now this is a good one for Divine Masculine. It's, it is a moon. So let's do Divine Feminine first. 11 is, of course, our life purpose. Creating with the Creator, our life purpose. Manifesting also what we want for our life purpose. And the colors are very, um, we're, uh, this is our pineal gland, our third eye. We're getting a lot of light coming in, so we might be very intuitive right now um, with the moon and, and really getting a lot of messages. So let's read that one 11. Light coming into our third eye. Let's see. Okay. Your every prayer is power packed eruption of light beamed into the divine into the divine presence. Some pray with fear or doubt, as though the prayer is not doing much at all. Yet you understand that prayer is powerful, that it is divine action set in motion. Your divine power of divine prayer emerges from your heart. Sorry, I didn't say that right. Your power of divine prayer emerges from your heart and out through your throat. Whether you speak or sing your prayer silently within your own mind or aloud for all the world to hear, let your prayers be vocalized as feeling expressed to the divine in words or song if you choose. You have the power to heal at your fingertips and vocal cords. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position at your heart, your mouth open to let the the breath to let the breath of your spirit move through your throat creating sound as you speak it so shall it be this oracle holds a message for you your words have more power than you may realize and you have a special ability to heal with words to bring light where it is needed and to uplift through simple kindness spoken you also you also have a message to bring it might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level to share from, from the heart with others when you are engaged in conversations. The Oracle says your voice is part of your power. Do use it. And the, and the, um, the poem says, life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. All right, one more time. Life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. Okay, so that was Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine. Five is about um, choices. 
making the right choices and making changes in your life with courage and love and light. Okay, so five. The communal dance. Lover, you have been alone too long. Your community calls you to surrender your isolation for this moment in time and instead join the cosmic conga line. Do you know how special you are? So much so that it, this community would not be the same without you? Your individuality and uniqueness can only enhance this group of souls that calls you to dance with them. Men and women, human and spirit, heaven and earth, your community is vast and rich and has much to share with you. Be lifted in celebration of belonging. Recognize that you are part of something great. Can your heart grow warm with recognition? You belong. You are meant to be part of this great dance of love, awakening on earth. Your heart is already beating to the rhythm of the music. This oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. You'll feel more at home there and be able to share your gifts and talents more freely with greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that you have been holding on to out of fear. If they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away. Creating space for new connections to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in what you have known, but to be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. Wow, that's a really great one. And the poem says, When I stood in front of you, I knew something was in store. I could feel the excitement of our journey ahead, for I had been that way before. Each person comes into our life with lessons we may see, and in reflection of that other self is the person we can be. So that's really great with the moon and everything in this card. Something new for divine masculines ahead. One more time. When I stood in front of you, I knew something was in store. I could feel the excitement of our journey ahead, for I had been that way before. Each person comes into our life with lessons we may see, and in the reflection of that other self is the person we can be. Really cool. Well, thank you for um, being with me for my first reading. <laughs> um, I stumbled on words, but that's okay. I think everyone understood me. Um, uh, look for more readings this week. Look for more videos. I'm just getting started, so um, yeah, bear with me. But have a great full moon, and I'll talk to you again. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.